reports of killed, it is now reported 558 people, including 35 children. This feels like a new war beginning, but how's it going to stop? To speak about the situation on the ground in this beautiful, tragic and battered country, I'm joined now by Mr. Firaz Ahyet, the Minister for Public Health in Lebanon. Uh, Dr. Ubiet, thank you very much indeed for joining uh, LBC tonight. These are horrendous events. Can you just give me a sense of what is happening in Lebanese hospitals and on the streets tonight? So the results of the uh, indiscriminate attacks that occurred uh, yesterday, uh, we have reported the tally up till now is 569 uh, people have been killed. This includes 50 children, 94 women. Uh, UNHCR has reported that two of its uh, uh, workers have been also killed and nine healthcare uh, workers, uh, ambulance uh, staff have also been killed. The total number of wounded is 1,835. Uh, including uh, 27 healthcare uh, workers, and we have uh, one hospital was attacked, two primary uh, healthcare centers, and 18 ambulances and fire engines. Uh, I think uh, that uh, you know our hospitals have been working uh, almost uh, continuously, trying to accommodate uh, the wounded and trying to save their lives. Uh, and is the hospital system coping? I mean, with that number of people coming in suddenly, it must be extremely difficult, and attacks on ambulances. Well, what we have been trying to do, you know, ever since the conflict started in Gaza, we've instigated a, 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 a plan uh, to be able to, dis, you know, to um, disseminate the patients uh, across our hospital system. And uh, we have been working very hard to transport patients from the hospitals on the front lines uh, to hospitals in safer areas. And I think that we are barely coping. Uh, some of the hospitals have reached full capacity. Remember that last week we've also had to deal with the casualties from three different attacks. Uh, and the total number of casualties has uh, reached almost uh, 5,000 casualties. Just to compare, in 2006, uh, the war between uh, Lebanon and Israel, the total number of casualties in that war was 10,000. We have reached almost half that number in a matter of one week. That's casualties. Just to compare, in 2006, uh, the war between uh, Lebanon and Israel, the total number of casualties in that war was 10,000. We have reached almost half that number in a matter of one week. That is fairly horrific now. Hundreds of airstrikes slamming into a neighborhood in southern Lebanon. Israel saying they struck 1,300 Hezbollah targets. Officials say nearly 500 are dead tonight. Residents watching as their neighborhoods burn. Israel accusing Hezbollah of storing weapons and missiles in civilian homes. People heeding Israel's warning tonight to move north. You can see the traffic jams there. A dash cam capturing a rocket landing in front of this vehicle right here. There's no word tonight on the driver's fate. Hezbollah, in response, firing more than 250 rockets into northern Israel. Israeli defenses intercepting those rockets. Tonight, the Pentagon now sending additional U.S. troops to the region out of an abundance of caution. ABC's Martha Raddatz in Israel leading us off tonight. Tonight, the Pentagon sending additional military forces to the Middle East out of an abundance of caution to protect Americans at risk fearing the exchange of missiles between Israel and Hezbollah may descend into all-out war. 